Hi, I'm Bob Fermanak of the 3D Film Archive. We are super excited to have the opportunity to work with Kino Orber Studio Classics to restore the How Wilds production, Money From Home, starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Now, this is a film for me that has an incredible backstory. And in fact, if it hadn't been for Money From Home, it's very likely there would be no 3D Film Archive today. But let me tell you a couple of things that make this project very unique and special for us. Uh, first, among the 50 Golden Age 3D features, Money From Home was one of the top budgeted films, uh, estimated about $1.4 million in 1953. And Hal Wallace and his partner Joe Hazen put a lot of time and attention into crafting a really, really good quality film, both in Technicolor and 3D. It used an incredibly complex camera system called Dynoptic 3D. And that was built by the Technicolor Corporation, and what that involved were two three-strip Technicolor cameras that were run interlocked. So for every single take on this film, you had six rolls of film going through. Uh, that was yellow cyan magenta left and yellow cyan magenta right. So an enormous amount of footage was used in photographing money from home. Hal Wallace, about a week after they began production, said that he and his partner, Joe Hazen, uh, did not think 3D was a passing fancy, and they felt it was here to stay, and they weren't going for gimmick values. They were going for good stereoscopic cinematography, and they really did succeed. Unfortunately, by the time Money From Home was ready for release in early 1954, 3D movies were pretty much on their deathbed. Uh, of something like 17,000 playdates, only about 2% played Money From Home in 3D. So very, very few people got to see it. Now, one of the reasons for that was a test preview a few months before the wide release where it was shown out of synchronization, meaning that the left and right prints were off enough to cause eye strain and headaches. That happened more often than not, and it was a big reason why 3D movies died so quickly. What that really hurt was it destroyed all of the stereo cinematography values that they had put into Money From Home. So flash forward to today, Kino Lorber Studio Classics has secured the rights for a 3D Blu-ray release, which in itself was a great achievement. But beyond that, the Paramount Pictures Archive Department, uh, headed by Andrea Callas and Charlotte Barker, have agreed to scan all 72 reels of original Technicolor left-right negatives. That's a about 18,000 feet of film scanned in 4K resolution. That's absolutely unprecedented and has never happened before with a vintage 3D restoration. So you're going to see a quality on this film and on Money From Home that nobody has ever seen before. Uh, now we've got some really special stuff lined up for the Blu-ray release. Uh, you're going to see some footage on the set that nobody has ever seen before. We've got memories from some people that were involved in the production, including someone I worked for and was friends with for many years, Jerry Lewis. So there's a lot that goes into Money From Home, both in the production and restoration that are truly outstanding. And for the first time on a 3D Film Archive release, we're gonna have a short documentary about the production and the restoration. It's gonna explain a lot of the techniques that went into photographing and bringing this film back to life. And we're absolutely thrilled to have Sean Trunk of Crimson Mountain Productions putting this together for us. Sean recently did a couple of documentaries for a Robot Monster release that are truly outstanding. And I know you're going to like what he puts together for this. So keep an eye out for future updates and progress on this restoration. And we look forward to seeing you real soon on Money From Home. Thank you.